Hi, I'm Erin with Create, Dream and Paint. Today we're going to be working on some bird collages. We're going to need a pencil, eraser, collage papers, Mod Podge or glue stick, a canvas or some construction paper. Let's get started. So today we're going to be creating a bird collage. This is only the birds. There's going to be lots of leaves and a nest. We're going to have lots of fun today. I want you to notice that today I'm not using a canvas. I'm actually using a piece of construction paper. You can get this kind of construction paper at any store. Um, I just want to show you guys that you can use a different substrate and that's the material that you work on. So if you don't have construction paper, you can use cardboard, you can use a piece of white paper and you can color it in or paint on it, or you can even use a canvas. So I'm going to show you how we created the birds. So I'm going to put them just over here for right now. And I'm going to show you how we made them. So I suggest you use a plastic cup and a plastic bowl, but I wanted you to be able to see it. So I'm gonna use a clear glass one, but get your parents to help you. Let them pick out the dishes that you get to use. So first of all, I'm gonna make the mama bird, which is the biggest bird. And if you notice, I'm gonna use this side of the paper, but I'm gonna draw on the wrong side of the paper so I can cut it out. And I'm just using some origami paper I have. You can use magazine paper, some construction paper, lots of things. So we're gonna put our bowl on our piece of paper. And we're going to take our pencil, and we're, as we hold the bowl down, we're gonna trace all the way around. Perfect. And then we're going to get our scissors. I'm going to use some bigger scissors, but these are the ones you should be using because they're not too sharp and you won't hurt yourself. And we're going to cut the circle out. So the reason I got a cup and a bowl is because the cup is smaller than the bowl. So I have one big bird and I'm going to have two small ones. So I'm gonna do those ones out of the cup. So I wanted you just to see that you can find different things around your house that are different sizes of circles that you can use. So I'm just going to show you guys, I'm gonna go in with the cup and I'm going to make another circle for a smaller bird. I'm gonna put that to the side because I have to cut that out. And I'm gonna get another piece of paper. And I'm going, I think this one was an old envelope. You can use anything. I'm gonna trace all the way around. So now I have all my circles. So I'm gonna cut these out and I've already cut some out. So I'm just gonna put these to the side. You can pause the video and just cut your circles out and then start again and I'm going to show you how to make the beaks. Okay, so if you're still cutting away, that is just fine. Just pause the video. I just wanted to show you what the beaks look like. They are triangles. Remember how we talked a lot about shapes last month? So I just have a piece of magazine paper and I'm gonna look at the back and I'm going to draw a triangle. And you know what? You can actually hear my puppies in the back. I thought they were gonna be good and have a nap. They were sleeping and it sounds like one of them's awake. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna cut that triangle. interesting the puppies awake because they like to bark at the birds so maybe they know I'm making some birds. So see how I make the little beaks? So I'm going to take my yellow paper and I'm going to do three different triangles and I'm going to cut three triangles out. And then I'm going to be right back. 
So you're probably done cutting out some of your shapes. I know we haven't cut out the eyes yet. That's going to come next, but we're going to actually take all the eyes and we're just going to put them to the side. And we're going to start collaging on the bodies and beaks of our birds. So of course we want to take off the smaller birds because they're on top. We're going to start with the bottom bird, the big bird. And we are going to use our Mod Podge or our glue stick or our glue. This is like Mod Podge, so it's the same kind of idea. And I usually use a piece of tin foil because I don't like to make a big, huge mess. And I take my circle and I'm going to flip it over and put the old brush we're using in the Mod Podge. Or you can take your glue stick and you can just put your glue stick all over the back of the circle. So we're going to paint away. We're going to paint that Mod Podge all over our paper. And you know what's a lot of fun? Is you can make your own collage papers. So take some white paper and some of your paint and use your painting skills or color with some markers and just decorate your own paper. And you can use those for your birds. So I'm gonna put the mama bird in the middle. And I'm going to flatten that right out. And I'm gonna look and see how some of the glue dried here on me. So that's okay. Remember, art is something that we can, it doesn't have to be perfect because we can just work on it. Here we go. So there we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait to the end for to put the beaks on. And I like this little bird right there. So I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna flip that upside down on my tin foil. And I am going to paint this magazine paper with the Mod Podge. And you can probably hear my big puppy just came in here. She's not sure what's going on. I let her kind of stay out this time, but she's just laid down. She's a lazy old dog and she's pretty wonderful. I'll show you a picture. I know last month I did too. Here we go and I'm gonna put my bird down. And do you see how this has a little bit of a line in it? Like it kind of got a little bit uh, folded. That's okay. Like we said, the fun part of art is sometimes those little things that happen. So I want the purple side, so I'm going to flip that over on my tin foil, and I'm going to put my Mod Podge or glue stick on my magazine paper. But always make sure if you're cutting up your mom and dad's magazines, you ask them first if you can, because I'm sure they have some lying around. And if they don't and you live near me, let me know, because people are always donating magazines to me. So you know I'm always working on art projects. Okay, so there's my three birds. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the beaks and I'm gonna put my Mod Podge on the beaks and I'm going to put my beaks on the birds. And the nice thing is about these birds is you can decorate them all you want. So you can take your markers or your paint you can decorate them or glitter or googly eyes. So I'm just showing you some ideas, but that doesn't mean that you can't change this up, make it exactly the way you want it because you're the artist. I'm just here to kind of help guide you. That's all. Okay, here's another beak. Okay. So the next thing I want to show you is how I do the eyes. So some of you guys took a Zoom class with me last month and we did splat monsters and we created these little eyes. So all it is is taking some of some white paper or you can even use white magazine paper. We're going to take a pencil and we are going to just draw random circles. Here we go. Okay. So I've already cut out my circles, but this means you need two for each bird. So you need two, four, six. 
you need six bur or six circles and then cut those out and then we're going to use the Mod Podge and we're going to stick those eyes on. So I'm going to go stick the eyes on my birds. You get yours done, pause the video and come right back. So now we have all the eyes on and I had to go put my puppies away because they just didn't want to leave the room and they were starting to shake and make all sorts of noises. So the next thing we're going to work on is the fun part. We're going to make leaves and we're going to create a nest for our birds. So we're going to start off with the leaves first. And if you see, I have a full bowl of leaves I've already made and I'm going to teach you how to do it. So I take random kind of papers like my collage papers or my magazine papers or even fabric and I tear it or cut it. So I've got this random paper here and I'm going to show you. I just kind of rip them into the shape of a leaf and then I fill my the bowl up here full of different colored leaves. So I use different kinds of green paper. So right now I'm using collage paper that I made myself. Okay, so we ripped all that up. And then I'm gonna show you, I got some magazine paper. So I cut out some plants. So, cause that's the perfect color green. And I'm just gonna rip them up. You can always draw a nice kind of shape of a leaf and cut it out, but I sometimes like it when I get to rip out paper and I don't have to worry about it. It's just kind of more fun that way. That's what art's supposed to be is fun. Okay, so just little pieces. This is gonna be the last one I do. So just get a little bowl or a little spot on the table and just start ripping up some green paper and we're gonna add it to the background. So I'm gonna take my brush here and I'm gonna, you can either do gluing two different ways. So you can do it the way I showed you where you put it on your aluminum foil and just use your brush or your glue stick and you paint the back and you stick it on like that. See, it's like the leaves and the trees or you take your glue stick or your paintbrush with glue and you can just put it on your background. The background's gonna be a bit shiny, but it dries clear. So I always say, if you want it all the same, you can just glue, just keep gluing. It kind of leaves the back almost all varnished. So I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna kind of go in and put that on there. And I'm gonna grab the different leaves that I made. And we're just gonna paste away. And don't feel like it has, they have to go on any specific way. We're gonna not fill up the bottom portion of our paper, cause that's gonna become the nest. And then we can put some leaves over the nest if you want. But it just makes it so there's a little bit of a bit of room there. Okay. Do you see how that paper looks a little shiny from me painting that glue on? It's gonna be clear, but it may be a little shinier than the rest of the paper, but that's okay. I kind of like that. Oops, <laughs> I dipped the paintbrush in the paper. I don't think that's the way to do this, but who knows, I guess it would work. I'm just gonna keep filling the bag. And if you're using construction paper like me, you might notice that your, your paper might end up rolling up a little bit or bubbling, and that's okay. Some of those bubbles are gonna go away and you can put it between a couple books after it's dry and it should flatten out. Perfect. The things we learn while we're doing art projects, right? Okay, I'm gonna keep working away, putting some leaves down. And then I'm gonna start showing you how to do the nest here in just a couple minutes. 
just get some more leaves down. And like I said, if you just want to work on leaves, you want to put leaves all the way around, you definitely can do that too. Or if it's taking you a little bit longer, just pause the video and just kind of put some time into it. Don't rush. Art's not supposed to ever be stressful. It's supposed to be fun. Okay, I'm going to put another leaf over here. And I'm actually going to use my foil now. I just want it so I don't get that really shiny stuff on that paper. The paper's a little bit matte color because it is construction paper. So I'm going to just cover up some of the spots that I had just put glue on. Here we go. But if that's what you're going for, that's what you do. Here we go. Almost done the leaves. And then I'm going to show you. Today we're going to use markers. Usually we use paint, but I feel like markers today. I actually got a new set of markers. And we're going to go in and just do little details, which is a lot of fun. Okay, here's another leaf. Okay. Making the nest is going to be a lot like making the leaves. So... I'm going to put the leaves to the side and I'm going to bring this bowl out. So this bowl is full of like brown and yellow bits of paper that I ripped up just like I did the leaves. And like I said, you can use your scissors, but sometimes ripping paper is not so fun. So I just go in and I rip them into just strips, like a stick, right? Because that's what nests are made out of, is sticks and plants. And grass so you can make it for lots of different things so rip away so brown orange yellow and I'm gonna look at I'm gonna just place these out first I'm gonna see how do I want to make this nest the nice thing is with collage is you don't have to do anything right away you can kind of place everything around and see how do you want to make this okay, let's look here that's the super fun part. So you get to design it. Here we go. I like that. I like kind of like how it holds all the birds and it looks like a nest that would be in my backyard. So what I'm gonna do is gonna move these to the side and I'm gonna take my Mod Podge. I always say Mod Podge, but it is Mod Podge. I always say it wrong, but I guess that's okay. Go. So I'm going to put that there. And if this seems really easy or you want to try a different kind of art project, go to the older kids one. We're going to do a different kind of bird and we're going to do some eggs in the nest. So I always make things a little different. So if you just want to stick with this one, you go for it. But if you decide, you know what, I really had fun this week and I want to do another lesson. Just go into the older kids and maybe let your parents kind of help you out. And you can have family art night. They always say having games night, but my family's always kind of had art night. We always make things. My son and I, he's six. We love to draw. He loves to draw Pokemon card, trading cards is his thing. And he likes to make them for his friends. I know they're not like the ones you get in the store, but he definitely gets very proud of them. You guys will have to let me know if, what kind of crafts you like to make with your parents. And you can probably hear Zach in the background. He's supposed to be quiet. Him and the puppies today, I tell you, I tried to wait until everyone was quiet tonight. But somehow it just doesn't seem to be working out, which I guess is okay. It's hard to be quiet. And I have four kids, so this house can get kind of crazy sometimes, I tell you. And two big dogs. Can't wait till summer when we can be outside. Okay, so I'm going to put one more piece of nest. And then I think I'm going to add a couple more leaves, but I'm not going to do too many because I want to go in with markers and create some other leaves and sticks. Actually, I'm gonna put that over there. You know what? 
Let's do that. I'm gonna actually rip one more piece of paper. Nothing stops you from going back and getting more paper, right? We're just gonna do this. Perfect. Yeah, I think you can hear Zach yelling. I think he's watching a show and he forgets. There we go. One more piece. And we're gonna put on a couple more leaves. And please send me a picture. I love seeing the pictures that you guys have been sending in. They're incredible. All of you are such amazing artists. I wish when I was a kid I could do half of the stuff you guys do. It's incredible. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple more leaves. I'm just gonna paint the backs really carefully. And then plop those on. Perfect. So keep going, keep adding a few more leaves like I'm going to do, and then get your markers or your crayons or your pencil crayons or your paint and come on back. I'll be back in just a moment. So we're back. I've got lots of leaves and I got the nest and I got some markers. So just get your markers out and we're gonna kind of just decorate. No pressure. You don't have to if you don't want to, or you can collage other pieces on. But I want to use my markers today. I love markers, they're so much fun. I'm gonna put little pupils in the eyes, and they don't have to be exactly the same. Kind of like an angry bird kind of thing. My little guy likes angry birds. I kind of like them too, they're funny. There we go. So here. And you know what? You could even draw little feathers on the birds if you like. Oopsies. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with a green marker. I wonder if this is dark enough. Yeah, it is. I'm going to go in and just draw some more leaves. And you could paint them too. Don't just take what I'm telling you and not decide to be really creative and find another way to do things. And sometimes like you could put like bright pink leaves, you could put blue leaves. I'm just sticking with green today. But these markers are loads of fun. There we go. Here we go. Another leaves. You know what? You can even put the leaves on your collage paper. Don't just have to stay on the construction paper. I always love to layer everything up. Put leaves on top of leaves. You know, you could draw little flowers too. Maybe we do that. Let me look, I'm gonna get a bright pink. And I'm gonna just do, we're just gonna do circles, circle flowers. Look at that, isn't that cute? Looks like spring, kind of feels like spring today. It's so warm outside, but I know it's supposed to get cold again tomorrow. But I like warm weather. My little guy likes to go to the park in the summer. I spend a lot of days there. Okay, there's some flowers. And then, you know what, here's some brown. Let's just put in some sticks. You can even do it on the collage papers. Just layer it up, see what you can do. Just like sticks from Mama Bird making her nest. And please share your pictures. I love to see what you guys do. I find it so much fun. And I actually see the art projects you guys finish up. Ooh, look, I actually put my hand through there. That happens. Working a little too quick. Perfect! You know what? I wanna do one more thing. Hmm. You know what? I'm sure birds do not have eyebrows, but I kinda of wanna put eyebrows on the mama bird. There. See how they're not perfect? But they're really fun. Maybe this, maybe the baby birds too. There's my birds. 
So you finish up yours, get your parents to take some pictures and send them to me so I can see. You guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week.